I think I'm gonna knock those off off stream because I'm assuming the classes are a bit boring. Yeah, they can be. I need to first you upon setting out on the treasure hunt and haven't gone back since. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, Apparently I, they can unlock some stuff for you, but... I mean, yeah, I'd, I I'd like assume it. they can do something in that vein. Ow. Hey, we're down on the... Oh, don't want to run off the edge. Oh no! Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, let me actually just hop off of you while we're here. Oh, that's interesting. Are these like turbines or something? Just in the water here? Oh. <laughs> cool enough, I guess. Now the question is, what is my actual next uh, next step along the path? Is it to go back the other way, or is it off in this direction? Either way wouldn't really surprise me. So I'm gonna guess that one of the next major things we get is the ability to swim. East Province, Area 2. I'm still trying to find my way into Area 3, maybe. And it might actually just be past here. Which I think Area 3 gives me things. Nope, this is still Area 2. Odd. Right, let us go heal my team one more time and randomize with the faulty tech tool. Oh, You're a faulty tech. Sometimes. Then we'll need your Pokemon for a few seconds. <sighs> All right. Team has been recovered. Knuckle stack and the rest of your team should be all better now. Yeah, Tauros definitely was was the guy there. And we go ahead and we repick some swaps. All right, so one for three. So we get Capsicid back into the party. Then two for Nimble, and then. Fourteen is you for three, and then four five. Wow, Kilowattrol is gonna be carrying this team for a little while, huh? Ain't wrong with that. Nope. And Lashunk is back in party. Sounds good. And we go. Uh, and Palmont is back. Or Palmont. Oh, right. I meant to ask where next in line is appropriate. I don't know where to go. Right, let's see. If I had to recommend a next destination for you, a uh, layer of the Steel Type Titan. Maybe try seeking out the Pokemon known as the Lurking Steel Titan. I'll go ahead and mark the spot on your map app for you. All right, you're all set. Get out there and have an adventure. We'll be here when you need us. Oh, is it still... Ooh, okay. That is a bit more interesting. <clears throat> We've got another what looks to be big area going. Yeah. It also looks like... Oh, yeah. All right. Let's head up there then, shall we? and find some neat toys to play with on our way. But whatever the steel type 
Titan gives, we are after. Oh, Rototototo. Hello. Arvin, yo, Redris. So somewhere in one of the mines there, that are around here, we should find a lurking steel titan. Rumor has it that the thing's stagger staggeringly huge and really long. You'd think a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot. I wonder how it stays hidden. Maybe it's super fast. If that's the case, riding that Pokemon of yours might help you catch up. Is it like a... Is it going to be a Steelix? It feels a bit on the nose, you know? Although a giant Steelix would be cool. Hello, group of Tauros. I was not gonna be bothered by you for a minute here today. There was a watch roll. And yeah, now it's just time to look around at what is out here. Oh, hey, Bramble. New Pokemon. To be captured. Battle with Capsicid. We bite. Infestation. That's neat. <laughs> I like how the Brambles move. They're pretty cool for being such a simplistic thing. Yeah. Like, they're just a dead weed. And they are conceptually really fun. Cool. And Bramblin was caught. Ta-da! Into the party. Bramblin' Twig. Also, I think we've had grass ghosts before. But we are s somewhat slowly starting to see more of these off-typing combos. One of the grass ghosts I know of is, uh... Delmise. Oh yeah, I would make two of them because the uh, Rowlet evolution line becomes Ghost. Uh, ah, come on. I never really paid attention to that one. It's a personal favorite, so. I definitely focus on it a little bit. Come on, give me the means to hop up there. I'm just catching an edge every time. And yeah, that's fine. Hey, you wanna buy this? Maybe? What you selling? Oh ho, ho you bought it. My fake out that is. Now it's battle time. That's it. Ernesto the student. Sure, Ernesto. Oinklonge. And Capsicid. What is your level at the moment? 23. Ah, you're normal type, so really... Oh yeah, does Fina... no, Finizen... How does Finizen evolve? I know it has something to do with actually being in a group. I do not know. I need to evolve I, mine as well. I might actually do... Oh, okay. At level... So I have to get it to level 38 in a union circle, which we are part of a union circle. So as long as well, we're shoot. as long as we're co-oping, you just have to get it to level thirty-eight. Lingering aroma. Neat. I don't actually know what lingering aroma does, but this pig is getting slapped a lot. Oh wow! Okay, super effective hit all five times. I'm good with that. Did we win? Opposing Oinklonge fainted. We got some levels going out there. Lechonk would like to learn Dig. Yes, we would. Uh, I would rather have Dig than Mudshot, maybe. Like, Mudshot is fine, but I, I do prefer Dig. In basically every instance. Sure. I will fight your other pig. 
Oh, Oink Cologne. That's what the name is. Arm thrust. Super effective. Covet. You're just stealing stuff. No. Oh. All right. I don't. I still don't understand what lingering aroma does, but that's fine. We smack and be done with these piggies. Pokemon was hit two times. Oink Lone fainted. Yeah, 28. I've got a while before I can level up Finizin. Just because I don't have anything up to that level, really. <laughs> I could potentially level more right now. Nice. Hmm. Okay, I still... Could I have gone from down there to get up to here? Huh. Okay, I'm gonna actually check that out. Noom. Well, those are you gotta be 38. Yeah, 38. After using all that candy, I gotta get three more levels. Yeah. I would say, in the long run, Probably try your best to hold on to the base rare candies, just because at a certain point the other ones don't <clears throat> level you nearly as much. Yep. But like at a low level, certain candies can actually get you pretty high up there overall. Hey, Grimer. You liking your lighthouse? It would be interesting if they had both of the types of Grimers available here. Actually, it'd be yep. interesting in any instance if you had both available. God. Magnemite just from the side looks weird because it's just a floating orb and I think it's something new. Oh, hello, Watchroll. I can see super far. I would like this. Oh, I see wind. That's neat. Cool. That's all that was up here. Of interest. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Many squats. My buttocks is sore. <coughs> Alright, what else we got? Because I don't actually know if this is area two or three. I'm just up here looking for things. Because I would like to explore as many options as I can. Super Potion. There's the little Watril. More Kelpsy Berries. Which I... I do... I don't know if it's a possibility yet, but I always like the concept of letting us grow berries for ourselves. Yeah. Makes it easier than having to go hunt them down constantly. Let's see what this fairy has. Oh, eh. That's not that interesting. Give super potion. Hey, the... that thing. Pig. It is nice that the Pokemon sleep in the overworld. Yeah, it's a nice little touch. Yep. They did fix an issue where Pokemon wouldn't close their eyes when they're put when they're forced to go to sleep via the status Ooh. effect. But it's also weird that, you know, you can be forced to go to sleep but you're sleeping on your feet. Yes. Yeah, which which people didn't take issue with versus oh you know you get you have to close their eyes hmm. 
Hey, Bramblin. I'm actually curious what Bramblin is going to look like as a shiny. Because that could be really cool. Rubbery. And grow leaves. Zoom. Oh, hey, it's a Voltorb. Oh no, it's exploding! <laughs> oh no, he died. Well, he exploded. That's fine. Ether. Oh, heat rock. Alright. Aha, landscapes are the best. Sure. Boom. Harsh landscapes like this are the best for good quality training. How to mean. Herminio the Black Belt. Your eyes are a bit. Oh, hello. Why do you have a Hiriyama? What's well, good that I have uh, a flying to it, huh? Is this a fighting deck? Yeah. Nah, my, my biggest issue is just the level. <laughs> it is normal off the top of your head. Say what? It is normal off the top of your head. Sorry, I'm, I'm not catching what you're asking. Like, you're very muffled. I'm trying to fight something that's a normal type. I'm not oh, normal type is weak to fighting. Really? Fighting is worth it. Look, you're not gonna get me off of Kilowattro that easily, dude. Okay, you're just being a headache. Oh, and it's very funny that you keep swapping out to Lechonk, the thing that is weak to your fighting type Pokemon. It's almost like the game is cheating. I think I have any fighting that's gonna be good against me. Nimble is just under leveled. <sighs> just give me access to the Pokemon I'm trying to use, please. Or at least hit me. Hit me so I have a turn with him. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Yep. Well, he's not even trying to hit me. He's literally avoiding the fight with Whirlwind. Wait. Yep. And then we dual wing beat for super effective. Now what you gonna do? Oh, now you're gonna bulk up because maybe you don't actually have any attacks that work in this situation. Maybe I won this battle before it even started because yeah, I can outdo you because you're primary focus was not damage. Also, I'm not sure I like dual wing beat. It's again, a move that has a low accuracy, but a cool effect because it's a dual hit move. There we go. Hariyama fainted. Did we win? Maybe. Nimble would like to learn Endure. I'm gonna actually check to make sure, because that sounds... Nimble Pokemon. Nope. He's just a level. So I don't care that much about Endure. Oh, Caps Kid would like to learn Bullet Seed. That actually sounds more fun. Although, okay, yeah. Or place leafage, because it at least starts at a 50 and can go up from there. 
Hey, we beat the Black Belt. And we're getting there. So harsh, really. You know, you're not allowed to say anything about me being harsh when you used Whirlwind four times in a row. Alright, LeChonk. What you got for your evolution? Is a piggy. One Cologne. One Cologne. Normal type. And. There you go. Cool. And. Nice, we have an evolution. I think he was. Le oh! You. Over here. We have a new capture. Uh, yeah. We fight Varum. Oh. <laughs> Damn. It hit me with some poison and I got smacked. Nice. Um, uh, do I, hmm. Try with uproar real quick. Oh no, uproar, I can't. Ah, damn it. Uh, let's try dual wing beat. Leading off. I just need to weaken it a little bit. I'll throw a Pokeball at it. Pokemon was hit two times. Varum avoided the attack. Sludge. Is that okay? Sludge does not guarantee poison once and twice. Not very effective. And we catch Varum. When we get a chance. There we go. Pokeball Geo. Oh, yeah, there's a rufflet over there. Does Varum float? That's weird. <coughs> cool. Got more. More stings. Things. Steel poison is neat. Varum looks weird, though. Yes, I agree. It's not a bad design for a Pokemon, it just looks weird. Oh, hello, Electrode. Oh, Doug Trio. Alright, so we're getting up to like the level 20, 23 evolutions and such. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Ooh, Thunderstone. Cool. I do need to start checking some of the evolutionary conditions for certain Pokemon. Capsicid is level. Nimble, I think, is also level, so that's no big deal. I think Capsicid's level. I will check on that. Actually, do I have a Leaf Stone? That would be a good... Indicator. I don't. Oh! Well, that's neat. So Capsicid uses a Fire Stone to evolve? That's weird. That's neat, though. I'm gonna look him up real quick. Yeah. Okay. Evolves into Scovillain on use of a Firestone. Sure. Oh wait, what level are you even? 21? I'll give it to level 25. And then I'll evolve him. Actually, you know what? No, we'll just do it now. I will just knock that out. Let's get that evolution. Caps a kid. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. I like it, though, that they went Capsaicin and uh, Scoville units for the Pokemon. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Oh! Oh! Scoville is absolutely terrifying looking, though. Yeah. Is, it, is this our first fire grass? Spicy extract? What does spicy extract do? 
emits an incredibly spicy extract, sharply boosting the attack, target attack and harshly lowering the opponent's defense. That's kind of cool. I'll put that over growth. Flamethrower? <laughs> okay. Well, that's interesting, too. Uh, I like Bullet Seed, so I will probably take Flamethrower over Razor Leaf. Well, that's a neat little... <laughs> that's a neat little effect. But we have our Scavillain. And we got, what, two evolutions done in that short span? Oh, I found a damp rock, too. And a smooth rock. I'm finding all the rocks. Again, I do like how he looks. Is that a Dunsparce down there? Oh, the Sandy Snake. Damp Rock. I guess next big thing is figuring out... Well, the next, next big thing I need. When it comes to... These wild Pokémon. A Poké Doll, a Rare Bone... Dawnstone! Rare Bone. Alright, we're getting some fun things. There's a Meowth. That's neat. Hi. Hello. I got stuck between a rock and a hard place. thing that evolves into Belly Bolt. Because Belly Bolt just is a more interesting Pokemon. Ooh, hello. Oh, Ponyard. Hello. Get into Pokeball now. Uh, Flamethrower might be too much here. It was too much. Alright, we will find another Ponyard, though. Ooh, Venoshock, okay. That's a fun... A Firestone? I, I got the stone I just used back. A rare Bone, Rare Bone. That's a Weasel. Oval Stone. Poke it all. There's a lot just over here. Just right in this little corner. There's another Choodle. It's neat the, like, little interactions between... Well, uh, maybe not interactions, but... There's the existence of two different small, like, areas next to each other that affects the spawning of different Pokémon. Yep. Yeah. Though, now I need to find another Ponyard. Snake again. I feel it appropriate to call him Dumb Snake. Often enough. I found some Diglett dirt. I don't know how you differentiate it from other dirt, but it's Diglett dirt. Ultra Ball, alright. Where be Ponyard? Oh, that's a Curlia? Interesting enough, I guess. A little bit. That's you again. Great ball. Ash shoots. Growlithe, hi. What are you doing down in the pits? Ooh, Drill Run, okay. 
That's a fun one. I would like to get my hands on this poniard, though. If I can spot another. Oh, hey, a Bagon. Oh, hello. Where even am I in comparison to other things? I think I've, I've kind of explored all of that. That's good. Because we're headed back kind of in this direction. I honestly like watching the uh, Voltorb explode on themselves. It's yeah. funny. They really should be smarter about it. Like, start rolling towards you and then go boom. Potion, potion. Where is one of these poniards, though? That's a rufflet. Mm. Roly coly coal. Is that just a normal flamigo? Or does, is that an evolution of it? Might just be a flamigo by itself. Would like to get my hands on this though. Thank you, bye. Leave me alone. I did nothing wrong. I touched a thing. Hmm. There's a cave. There's a Doug Trio. And one of you in the bushes. Hello. Alright. What is in here? Ah. Oh. Yeah, let's do this just so it's not dangerous. Oh, okay. I can't get back up there, probably. Ah, Steel-type Pokémon. Yeah, hello. How are you? I'll show you how strong and sturdy Steel-type Pokémon can be. I just saw Meowth fall from the sky. Wait. Oh, Oliver. I thought his, he said his name was Olive the Worker. Flamethrower! Whoosh. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. Scavillain actually might be my go-to for this uh, Titan, to be honest. Just having Flamethrower. Yeah. The fire move is going to be good. This is Steel. <laughs> I still would like to catch that Pawnee, or a Pawniard. The one I beat up is already gone. Because of flamethrower. Oh, more fire stones. Again, I like that these things are just around. For the most part. Damp rock. Hmm. A small EXP candy. Oh, neat. Your Pokemon evolved. What did it evolve into? <sighs> Challenged by Dario the Pokemaniac. Sure enough. Oh no! <laughs> That's dangerous! That's a Gyarados! That's not fun. Uh, actually, this might be fun. Let's go villain, switch out and come back, and we go with... ...things. Electro Ball. Ba -da -ba. Right. Ta da! Lightning beats Gyarados every time. Yep. Oh, 
Unless it has like a ground type terastalizing, which would be weird. Oh, come on, so newly evolved, it doesn't know how to battle. Grim caught ghastly. Nice. I still need to look around here for Ponyard. Ooh, Dusk Ball. That's good. X Accuracy, one of the grim coin guys. And then this. Uh, I don't want a grass type slowpoke, really. Zoom, zoom off. And away we go. Alright, Roly Coley. See how you stand up to some bullet seeds. Does only one of them attack? That would be interesting. I'm still just looking around for stuff. Yeah, I'm just kind of exploring right now myself. Yep. I mean, that's that's kind of part of the game. You don't want to... You don't really want to bum rush all the way through everything. It takes away Wait. part of the fun. Granted, you also want to get as many battles in as you can. So about those mines... I can imagine people would hike through mines if they were deemed safe enough for it. Although I guess at a certain point, hiking through mines becomes spelunking. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's try out Finizen. I want to see him in battle a little bit. Finizen, hello. Use poison. All right, poison jab's a pretty tough, or a pretty strong move, really. Aqua Jet. Speed and power. Oh, Wooper has water absorb. Now I'm dumb. No point in saying it's super effective if that's a possibility, huh? Just swap. Right. All right, Palmot. Let us beat up a whooper. <laughs> Ow. Dig. Dig will be a problem when uh, Earthquake starts showing up. Or Fissure. Earthquake or Fissure. There we go, whooper down. I guess you wouldn't know, huh? Yeah, I mean, to a point, I'm just a kid in the game. I wouldn't know what hikers are able to do, or what they would choose to do. Alright. I am, however, gonna go... Because I saw the a yard spawn over here. Let me see if I can put some eyes on another... If not, I can still move on and find another one later. Oh, there you are. Ponyard, into ball. This time we will bite initially. I should use the spicy extract just to see what it does. Not very effective, yeah. Spicy Extract. Oh, Ponyard used the Scary Face. Speed down. That's fine. Oh, okay. That's what it does. Oh, no. <laughs> that was not smart, but also a good, a good way to check what his whole deal is. Uh, you know what? Let's put you in a Dusk Ball. Ponyard in a Dusk Ball seems like it would fit. 
It's also night. <laughs> oh, man. Torment. But also, Defiant Ponyard is gonna be fun. There you go. Ponyard caught in a dusk ball. Ta da! Anything change? Nope. Any chip? Sinus blades would prove fatal for it. After each battle, they diligently it diligently maintains its blades using its favorite sharpening stone. Cute. Hey, we got Ponyard. Caught. Uh is there that's weird. Is there anything else in the Pokedex that I need to figure out? locations for that might be new. Oh, Flamigo's there. I had Graveyard. He's further north, though. And Riola is to the east, or west. I always have to check because I'm terrible at remembering that stuff. Okay, I think... We're good. There's nothing new that I know about to be found, so I guess we can head towards whatever this, uh... This Steel-type Pokémon is. Hello. Is that that Curlia? Yeah. Oop. Hello, Diglett. He <laughs> just popped up under my, underneath my wheels. Diglett used Sucker Punch, okay. Sucker Punching Diglett. Boom. Diglett Dirt. So yeah, we just head in the right direction. And find our new friendly things. You know, I never ever used the uh, elephant Pokemon from Generation or from Sword and Shield. The steel one. Yeah, like I just it just never grabbed my attention. I didn't find it particularly interesting by designs. I don't really either. Yeah. Hello, plant thing. Ooh, timer ball. This is area three of the East Province, and that Voltorb is just gonna explode because he heard noises. What you got, bruh? Efren the Worker. Alright, Efren. Ooh, Stone Joiner. Alright. That's a fun one. Bullet Seed. How much can you take? Shimon. Critical hit. One more? Alright. One more and I think we win this. Ah, nope. Too bad. Gravity? Ah, I guess it's to... Gravity intensified. It increases your weight. That makes sense. I don't think I've ever seen gravity be used. At least in the primary game. Yeah. Yay, my dolphin is leveling up. A char charm can actually be really useful. Focus energy, yeah. I definitely don't prefer focus energy. Efren the Worker. I do like that the workers kind of just square up. <laughs> like they go into almost a fighting pose. Yeah. Hey, Ghastly. Oh, wait, we're... Oh, wow, I kind of looked through all of that, huh? <laughs> Fair enough. 
Is there more to venture towards out here, though? Kinda. Like, the map slowly is getting easier to read, in a way. Or in ways. Oh, that's a growl. Yeah, it's not too hard once you've done it for a little while. Yeah. I think I've battled you already, right? Cool. What else we got going good? I am just spending a lot of time dodging Pokemon. I mean, I do the same. Like, unless they are interesting, you just kind of... Gosh, it was amazing. What was amazing? Child? Lee the student. Weird. Sent out as... Oh! Snover! Hi! I'm gonna flamethrower you! Ah! Started to snow. Yeah, you're not gonna hold up very well here. Four times damage! Because Snover has a terrible typing. Ooh. Headbutt. Uh, I think I like headbutt over bite. Sure. Why not? And ta-da. Learned headbutt instead. I'm surprised it's not learned double hit already. Really. It's a bit weird watching all the rumor mills pop up about this game still. Yeah. Especially when I they agree. are just just strange. Or at the very least half ass clickbait. The hell? Okay then. Where does this tunnel lead? And why? Mm, sun. The sun came out. It's bright. Why is it bright? It burns. I kind of like how they're doing the caves and caverns in this. Like, they're similar to what was in Sword and Shield, but... It's a lot more about just getting from one end of a place to another. Right. And I'm sure there's going to be, later on, some puzzly ones. Because that's just that's just how that works, eventually. If you've got caves, you got puzzle caves. That's, well, that just goes nowhere. What gives? There's also no Pokemon out here, so that makes me wonder if there's going to be something happening out here. What are their speed ab or movement abilities do you have, by the way? The big guy? Uh, or I was mostly asking what you had, so for your uh, ride Pokemon. Oh, I've, I've got everything for him. Okay. Oh, additionally, uh, for you, oh, hello, Salandits, that I didn't actually run into somehow, Pokeball, hmm, alright, so I expected some of these caves to be less shallow, interesting, but okay, that definitely has something to be done here eventually. Because most of these caverns are shallow, there's no really... There's really no wild Pokémon in the area. Oh, 
Okay. <sighs> oh. Move, Diglett. Now, how does Bulldoze work there? Okay. Bullet Seed. Because why not? Oop, left on to speed down. Bulldoze would have been a good move to have for the gym, actually. Pokemon was hit one time while Diglett fainted. Let's go. Because I think my next stop is actually going to be the Titan. Maybe. Oh yeah, no, he's right here. Or maybe he's up the way. Still, I'm gonna check things. Also, it's very nice to have the movement, just rolling speed that we have. Running speed. No, no, no. Rolling. Mine rolls. Definitely, definitely running. No, my, mine rolls. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with yours, but mine rolls. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing wrong with mine. You have a robot, I have a dragon. True. 